my amours welcome back again to another pick a card so today this is going to be a really really fun reading this topic ID actually I got it from my friend Tarot by Haru so if you are especially from Indonesia you should definitely check out her content she mainly makes video about astrological zodiac signs and sometimes pick a cards as well in Bahasa Indonesia so I'm just going to leave her YouTube link and also her Instagram in the description below okay so for today we're going to find out why did your person ghost at you so if you are in this situation we're definitely going to find out the reason why the hell they did that and yeah like why so let me just burn some bit of Palo Santo to cleanse out the energy and if you would like to book a personal reading i am open for the last week of april because i'm almost fully booked and if you would like to book in advance for may you can already do that actually and don't worry you can still change your questions at any time before our scheduled date okay because i do get booked really quickly all complete information of my website email and price list is always in the description and also in the pinned comments don't forget to also follow me on my instagram at amorinet as well and also my youtube channel for more spiritual contents art and lifestyle to help heal and inspire yourself okay so with that being said we are now going to get to the pick a cards as always i will be using my own artwork as a tool for you to choose from number one two and three it's from left to right Okay, so for those of you who choose pile number one with this artwork, okay, so I like to begin my reading by channeling some messages as well from the art itself as we will pick up some cards. Okay, so pile number one, why did your person ghost you? Hmm. I'm picking up that when they were dating you or when they were like in a situation with you, something triggered them. They maybe they felt like you didn't really care about them or they assumed that you didn't really care about them. They they have this feeling and fear actually it's, it's more of insecurity and fear they they assume because of their fear and insecurity that you did not really care that much about them or that you were dating or even flirting with other people that's what i'm seeing so if you are in a very specific situation if you are hanging out in a group of friends like a circle of people where you and your person knows a lot of these people as well together i am picking up that one of the reasons why your person ghosted you it's because they heard some rumors or gossip about you or that they themselves assume that you were flirting around with one of their friends or that their friend tried to get your attention okay and they were heartbroken about it they were really in their head about this and it's like this feeling of i i don't know who to trust i don't know if i can really trust you i don't know if i can really trust my friends i don't know if i should ever hmm, that's interesting well what's going on <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm just picking up a lot of energy, so excuse me if sometimes I would get a little bit of hiccup. Oh my goodness, look at that. What did I just say? I just said like this person is not having, I mean was not having enough trust in this connection with you. They had a lot of trust issues within themselves as well, with their friends. So, I mean, this could 
be an issue that they keep dealing with ever since they were still a child maybe this is like a family issues okay they just never had trust they they never trust anybody in their life maybe they have been living this way for such a long time and that is why it's very easy for your person to assume the worst of the worst they just often think so negatively about other people there is this sense of survival mode like they have to keep you know fighting or flight like fight or flight and it's like this person always assumes that other people are always out there to get you so yeah this is what i'm picking up so far let's see any more deeper messages wow engagement Ooh. okay now for some very very few of you which is a very specific message your person could have assumed that maybe you are actually engaged to somebody else and you're cheating on your fiance with them or that they assume that you are engaging and entertaining other people okay like i said in the beginning of this reading but i feel like this is only for some very few of you this person could have assumed that you were actually engaged with somebody else or that recently you actually had somebody very close to you and probably you're not really done with that past relationship just yet but somehow you jump into this relationship or this connection already with your person and maybe energetically they sense that i mean if this is true okay if this situation is true well the reason why they ghosted you it's because they did sense the energy of you trying to escape a, a relationship or a very very recent breakup but it's actually not completely done just yet and so your person sensed that energy from you and they just did not want to deal with that but then again this can be their assumptions this can be what actually happened i mean you know your own reality you know your own situation so just you know take whichever resonates okay okay so we have worth waiting for we have keep an open mind and we have romantic feelings okay so with what this card is saying what i'm picking up is that what's going on in the connection between you and your person is that you both are still very much connected with each other you still think of each other you still feel each other's energy and emotions and in fact i actually feel that your person may still want to reach out back to you especially for those of you who's watching especially if you are not in a relationship if you are not in any type of committed connection whether it's legally or however if you are single i do see there is a huge possibility of your person reconnecting back with you again because they actually think that you are worth waiting for and you feel like your person is also somebody worth waiting for and so i do see that your person still is thinking of maybe coming back again with you because you know okay so here's the thing what i'm seeing with this card especially keep an open mind especially with this engagement card this situation this very specific situation that i just mentioned before this can actually symbolize your person instead of you so maybe you know vice versa the situation was like your person was actually the one that was dealing with somebody toxic or they were the one who was dealing with somebody else so this could actually be a third party situation ship ish or friendship ish you know however you want to call but there is definitely some type of outside influence then again remember the third party situation can also um pertains to that possible gossip or rumors by the friends around you or around your person so either way what i'm seeing with these two cards is that 
if your person is actually the one who was dealing with somebody else or who was still dealing with a breakup, they're the one who's definitely going to reach out to you because they realize that what they had back then, it was just not working and it was not right of them to ghost you, of course. And so they decide to just keep an open mind and an open heart to give love another second chance and that is with you, okay? Now, if the situation is vice versa, if you who's watching my amours, if you are the one who just got out of a relationship or you know, you just got done with this healing, you know, processing a recent breakup, I do see that this person is going to still come back around either way and they do want to reconnect again with you. So now we're going to take some more last cards for confirmation, at least what you can expect in this connection with your person. Let's take a look. We have persistence. We have spirituality. We have ambition. And last one, we have bravery Ooh, we have also love and abundance over here really really beautiful illustrations love and abundance yeah so within this connection specifically between you and them i still do see the love is very much still available it's still very much present in this connection there is still a lot of abundance a lot of potential basically still a lot of opportunities for the both of you to come back around and reconcile as well and also have closure so with this card persistence is that if your person was the one that ghosted you because they chose somebody else or they were actually dealing with something or somebody else, they were trying so hard to be like, oh, I'm cool, I'm fine. And maybe they were in denial as well about their own actions. But then I'm seeing there is a change of hearts over here your person is experiencing a lot of spiritual awakening this is a lot of growth and a lot of maturity as well and so with this card that says uh, ambition I see like this definitely pertains to your person having the ambition the passion it feels almost like that knight of fire or king of fire ish energy they have that type of fiery passion to go after love again and I see like well it's with you it's with this connection so that is why the very last card is bravery okay so this is a confirmation for sure that your person and definitely wants to give this another chance you yourself you also definitely want to give this another chance so for most of you at least 70 to 80 percent of you who's watching i feel like it's your person who will be the one to take action or whoever here especially if they are the masculine they're going to be the one to take action now when it comes to when they are going to take action we have the five of cups so for a lot of you this is at least within the next five months okay also pay attention to the number 11 11 and 333 that is going to be a very significant synchronizing uh, repetitive numbers that the universe will give you as a sign about this person coming in union with you so your person right now currently they are feeling really bored and sad in their own life they're definitely not happy and they're definitely thinking a lot about you and that is also the same with you okay so one last card again i feel like your person may even be dreaming about you at nighttime okay that's what i'm seeing 
contemplation time and alchemy yeah so this person is thinking a lot about how to manifest this connection back with you so yeah there you go pal number one thank you so much for watching i will definitely be back again don't forget to also follow me on my instagram at amorinet and my youtube channel as well at amorinet and i will definitely be seeing you again see you hello my amours welcome to pile number two so for those of you who have chosen this artwork okay so i like to begin my reading by channeling some messages as well based on the art as we pull in some cards okay so i feel a lot of heavy melancholic energy over here a lot of stress as well i feel as if you're person I, yeah i feel like your person is really in the dark right now like really 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 in the dark and a little bit of a trigger warning this person may actually have some mental issues or a really heavy you know problems in their life maybe they are going through a depression maybe it's even really bad it's, maybe it's like a severe depression then again I'm, of course i'm not a psychologist but from the energy that i can feel because you know i also deal it with myself i i feel like this is what your person is going through or maybe you are also going through this okay so first thing you know f for for sure i just want to also let you know to please go get the help that you are you know able to get with the people that you can trust if you need therapy if you need some healing you go ahead and try to find a way okay so now let's take a look why did your person ghost it, ghost you i feel like right now in this very present moment your person is experiencing a major spiritual awakening now i'm going to say something that maybe you don't really like maybe you're not ready to hear this okay but this is something spiritual okay this is not like oh something really bad but here's the thing there is a spiritual reason it's not just spiritual but there is a physical <clears throat> Uh, reason as well <clears throat> sorry excuse me i'm just picking up a lot of energies there is a physical and a spiritual reason as well as to why the both of you are not together right now and i feel like what your spirit guides are really really heavy uh trying to like get this heavy message out it's that you just have to know and be aware that you and your person needed to be separated from each other because you have some other things going on in your life right now and your person is also going through some things in their life right now that needs to be dealt with that needs to be finished separately okay i feel like this has something to do with bad karmic connections as in you know really toxic people whether it's work life it's friendship issues family issues it can be anything okay but i just feel that both you and your person each of you have some of unfinished business basically with some other people or other situations in your life that would cause a lot of messy things in this connection if you keep it up okay there's just a lot of blockages and maybe even miscommunication and immaturity going on with this within this connection that if you keep pushing on this connection to keep happening if you keep forcing this connection to happen it's actually just going to be even more chaotic than ever so one of the reason as to why this separation happened itself it's because there was some type of trigger it's just like an outside energy trigger where this separation just had to happen okay because it would just not be good for the both of you it's just not going to be healthy now let's let's just take a look specifically to the question of today which is well still still let, let's find out as to why your person ghosted you hmm. 
Okay, so this Three of Cups over here, this can definitely talks about a third party's involvement, whether it's family, friend issues, work life issues, okay, and even addictions. So I don't really feel like this Three of Cups is more about like love cheating or betrayal. I actually feel more addiction because that energy, that word is actually coming up very strongly. It's like caps lock. It's very bold and big. I'm picking up this energy is more about addiction. Okay, trigger warning, disclaimer. Okay, I'm just like letting you know. This addiction, what I'm picking up specifically is alcoholism. Okay, somebody here, uh, which I feel like it's your, your person, th they're dealing with some type of addiction or you know specifically alcoholism this can also represent addiction to really 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 bad uh, negative self thoughts and affirmations and things like that that they just cannot really get over with or that they were being very bitter very pessimistic and being very very petty all the time so they're just being in a very very you know negative low vibration uh, you know a be behavior they were just acting that way all the time and so they ghosted you not because of you but it's because of in some ways okay this is not just about what the spirit guides want you to do but in some ways this person subconsciously they are ghost they, i mean yeah they are ghosting you they are still ghosting you it's because they actually wanted to protect you from them okay so yes i i know that the, the way that they miscommunicated with you the way that they just abandoned you or left you out in the cold it's it's never a good reason there's no excuse okay like i said there is a lot of energy of immaturity here so again no excuse let's not invalidate that because the, the fact of i mean the energy that i'm picking up at least is that your person was being very very incredibly immature and irresponsible but the thing is that for some very few of you i do feel that your person was actually aware or maybe they are becoming more aware and conscious that who they are right now is not like the best and they don't actually feel too confident to actually be with you because they know you deserve better or that at one point they felt like a change of energy in this connection because you are stepping up ahead in life that you they felt like you are going on a journey to celebrate life the way that they could never follow up okay so that kind of intimidated them that's what i'm picking up yeah that that really intimidated them that's what i feel so yeah look we have justice this is a major arcana card okay with the number eight over here yeah this person i feel that for most of you like okay at least about 60 to 70 percent of you i feel like this person is about to become aware that they were not acting the you know the, the best way they were not being responsible and they were not being truthful and uh, stable with you they were not being consistent in this relationship i do feel for up to 70 percent of you this person is about to become aware now for the rest at least about 20 to 30 percent of you your person is already aware they're already aware of what they were doing and what they need to change okay so i do definitely feel there is definitely a possibility of you know healing this fixing this connection and maybe even gaining closure and also reconciliation because i do see your person changing and they want to reach out to you again but i don't feel like they're going to do that until they truly feel comfortable with themselves because a lot of the issues they're dealing with is well it's with themselves it's their own insecurity so we have the queen of swords and the four of swords yeah so your person for most of you i feel like they are already thinking of reaching out back to you 
they have been thinking maybe they even have been sending text messages where they just like deleted it again and they you know write that text message but they, i mean they didn't send it they deleted it over and over again maybe they even think of trying to reach you out from a friend okay or maybe any other ways i feel like this person may be stalking your social media sometimes sometimes they would like as a ritual they would legit stalk your social media every single day every single night before go to bed i feel like sometimes this person would go to bed at 4 or 5 a.m because they just can't sleep they're thinking about you and they're stalking your social media but the reason why they haven't reached out to you oh wow i just saw 10 10 over here Wow, synchroni synchronizing a uh, number over there. Okay, so one of the reasons as to why this person have not contacted you just yet, it's because they think that you over here, you are not going to accept them back or that if this person reach out to you, you're going to slay them down because you're not going to give them any more chances. So this is what they assume. So even though they want to reach out to you, they haven't done that just yet. It's because they are so afraid that they would that you would not see them as somebody that's valuable or even worth it okay they, they have a huge fear of rejection so one of the reasons as to why they ghosted you it could also be that maybe even from the very beginning of this connection they have they already have had some triggers of their insecurities because they see you being very confident and so very sure of yourself of your life path and they are not and so they were acting out of like oh i'm going to leave you before you leave me you know it's like that phrase when you have to kill before getting killed so it's like this person left you first before you could leave them so for others of you which is quite a lot of you actually i don't really feel like this person you know was trying to purposely hurt you or betray you it's more of their issues really like their own issues over here wow we have grace love and strength look this person literally puts you so up high on a pedestal they legit worship you let me tell you okay they see you as somebody graceful very elegant very classy very high class this person has a lot of love too much love too much emotions to you that it felt so overwhelming i mean it still feels so overwhelming to them your person still loves you okay and then they're so scared of reaching out to you because they see you as a very strong and independent person that you just don't need them and that itself really scared them now other than that what i'm picking up with this strength card is that there is a mixed mixture a mixed feelings between your person understanding that you actually are the one who gives them strength in life but at the same time you are so strong that they don't know how to penetrate your walls okay but i do feel like they're going to reach out though because i feel there is a change in the air in the energy so let's just take a look at any last confirmation if they're going to reach out and when okay if we can get any timing <clears throat> wow look at that make a decision and make a wish and helpful person what did i say you your your person has already made up the decision for a lot of them they have made up that decision to reach out to you and they are literally praying to the universe that they would be given this chance so i do feel for most of you there will be a reconciliation within this connection now the way as to how they're going to reach out to you just for some of you your person would probably ask for somebody else help like i mentioned before maybe they're going to ask a friend like maybe your friend they're going to ask like to your friend for example oh yeah i'm just wondering how is a doing you know and yeah when it comes to timing um i'm not really picking up energetically so let, let's just take a look with the um tarot cards over here actually i'm i'm going to use the sexual magic tarot we have the four of pentacles okay so this person is 
they may reach out to you a little bit like slow i mean f four months actually four months for some of you four weeks which is really fast but here's the thing what i mean by slow is not slow as in timing but when they do reach out to you and they ask you to like meet up face to face they may talk really slow because they're there's ju they're just so scared they feel as if they're walking on eggshells you know so yeah there you go i'm picking up at least within the next four weeks to four months you will be hearing something from this person or that you will be receiving some more messages or signs just pay attention this may come directly from your person this may come directly or or not directly like maybe from your friends or their friends okay so there you go pal number two thank you so much for watching let me know how this resonates and, and you know down below in the comments and don't forget to also follow me for more updates on my other youtube channel and instagram at amorinet and i will definitely be seeing you again see you hello my amors for those of you who pick pile number three with this artwork so i like to begin my reading by channeling some bit of messages as well based on the art itself okay as we pull in some cards okay so <laughs> trigger warning okay if you cannot hear um, blunt messages without any sugar coating then maybe you probably don't want to watch this reading or you don't want to watch this pile so anyway since the energy i'm picking up over here you know it's it's a lot of chemistry there's a lot of passion there's a lot of lust we are going to of course use the sexual magic tarot card so again warning for pile number three this is probably going to be a bit of an 18 plus reading okay so th this reading is supposed to be general but i mean it's it's it seems like it's just going to be 18 plus okay so pile number three what i'm picking up is that your person may have some sexual addictions okay so I'm picking up like the reason why they ghosted you it's because maybe this was just a hookup or maybe a friends with benefits and along the way you know they, they just decided not to invest any more into this connection now this can be you as well okay so here's the thing if you are the one who started this connection just for a hookup or just for like friendship with benefits the reason why this person goes with you it's because they actually develop feelings for you but <clears throat> you <clears throat> sorry but you were not responding well to them now if this person is the one that may be asking for a hookup with you only or friends with benefits well guess what what i'm seeing is that they still develop some feelings for you and when i was mentioning about that sexual addiction message it's because they feel like they're addicted to you yeah i feel that for for some uh, most of you this is not really like your person only used you for sex okay i, I mean that that could be the situation but I mean feelings got involved basically feelings got involved in this connection whether you were the one who did not care that much but then you actually fell in love with this person either way whatever happened we are still focusing on the energy of your person right and i do see that they did mm, develop some feelings towards you and and they still do okay they still do i do pick that up now this person feels like you are a drug to them like it's an addiction really they are they are so obsessed with you now in the beginning they may thought that oh this is just lust but then they realize that this could actually become something else and that intimidated them that scared the you know shite out of him out of her so the first card that we have is the ace of pentacles in the upright position so like i said there is you know there are 
okay? There are feelings involved, friendship, affection, love, and possibly even, you know, ro romance, like as, as in real romance, when, when the both of you have, you know, sexual activities together it just felt so intimate with this person that's what i'm picking up because look look at this ace of pentacles though they both look so so intimate with each other and the illustration of this card is not a couple that is just you know effing each other up but they are in each other's comfort. This looks very much like a pillow talk, you know, the aftermath of a really fun night. But what's really precious for your person is actually the pillow talk itself. It's the experience of having a lot of really fun and deep conversation as well with you. And when they had this with you, wow that's when they develop a lot of feelings towards you and that really scared them now for some others of you your person may have thought that you you're the one who lost interest at them or that you were going after other people or you're or you're the one who's sleeping around with other people um and that really hurt them or that really caused a lot of worry and overthinking in their mind. I feel like your person is heavily stalking you, like legit they're stalking you on social media or maybe they're even asking around people. But I feel for most of you, your person is not really showing clearly that they are stalking you. Now, here's the thing. Again, like I said trigger warning okay because i feel like this person may have some bit of obsessive tendencies which can be a little bit dangerous so this is also a bit of a safety warning if you don't really feel safe uh, physically please be aware okay i mean i don't normally pick up this type of message but if this is a warning sign well it's very important for you to know then i'm just saying what the spirit guides are showing for your own safety as well i just have to say this relationship it doesn't feel like the healthiest of a relationship or a connection okay this person may have some like personal issues over here okay and i feel like there could be some times when you are going to a cafe or a restaurant like your favorite restaurant or a place where the both of you used to go to i see that your person may be hanging out around there or stalking you to that place physically so please be very careful like this is seriously so important because this is like literally for your safety okay we have the knave of chalices and look at this man over here look at this illustration there is this man who is so frustrated look at what like he like the way he looks so frustrated and he is holding this like a crumpled of a letter a paper and there is a black cat that is pointing to a silhouette of a couple in the background over here underneath the moonlit sky so jealousy obsession i feel like this is your person this is your person they think that you are over here going out with somebody else or maybe or maybe it's true that you have somebody maybe you just got into a relationship with somebody because this person have ghosted you for such a long time maybe all almost a year maybe even or maybe even almost two years or maybe just a few months but i'm seeing that you have other dating options already or that maybe you just got into a relationship and this person's find out find out about it and they're like so jealous about it and they're so frustrated look at that so this is a, conf a confirmation for sure there is something kind of creepy about this person that you really have to be careful of okay so if this person goes with you good let them be because i don't feel like they're good for you either way um yeah th this 
reading actually kind of turned out to be a little bit creepy which i mean it makes so much sense because the art that i was channeling for your pile i mean look at the art itself right I, oh my goodness i also just realized see like i love when everything the signs the symbolisms the art itself the synchronicity the omens that just happened everything is just in perfect synchrony sight in, in perfect sync <laughs> in perfect sync there you go look at that look at how similar it is look at this like one man over here like there's a one man over here like a demon over here and that is frustrated or watching stalking over this other two couples over here like over here right so yeah that is confirmation for sure uh, there is definitely some type of third party involvement in the recent past or now but i mean a lot of you are watching so a lot of you may have of course a lot of you definitely have different situations and circumstances and please just remember not all of you are dealing with somebody like this creepy okay this could be just some miscommunication okay <clears throat> so the most important message from spirit guides for you actually is that you also have to be very mindful and use your intuition and to also analyze it yourself what is it that's truly going on in this connection and what type of person are you dealing with really seriously like what type of person are you dealing with you have to be aware about that so you know if it's just a miscommunication or if this person is legit somebody that you have to stay away from i feel like for some of you you may be asking about an ex over here hmm i'm just going to take that okay never mind i'm going to take all of this okay so yeah pal number three you're you're really good getting a lot of the sexual cards look at this we have the seven of swords in the upright position again look at how this couple they're not looking at each other she she is looking fine though but look at him he's looking really broken down or like i mean not broken down but sad and he's just thinking he's he's kind of stressing out about something like something is burdening his mind he's just not happy so maybe throughout the time of him of this person ghosting you they may have tried to go with other people but nothing is satisfying them it's like they they, they're just doing whatever the hell they're doing but if you do whatever the hell you do they get pissed off because they're jealous i mean it's so freaking selfish isn't it right and then look at this i see like this person i mean your person they definitely want to come back around they want to come back into your life and maybe ruin your happiness if they are really that freaking toxic or maybe even narcissistic and manipulative but i mean if this person is just you know having some miscommunication i mean they still want to come back around look at that again with the hangman look at this guy watching her staring at her and she's just like minding her own business so again there is a lot of this imagery of somebody especially a masculine energy that is spying watching staring admiring a feminine energy or somebody else but he's like so frustrated somehow look again at this two of pentacles right yes it's just two of pentacles she's just like looking outside in the window minding her own business and look at this guy creeping behind her right and again look at with this chariot card over here look at her sleeping she is facing the other way and he is watching over her while he is holding a whip i mean that that seems like a form of like i want to own you it's like possessiveness and then we have the two of swords over here look again there is a guy offering a rose to her yeah i mean she looks very seductive and she is seduced by him she's kind of flirty but uh, she's looking away she's not really really paying attention to him 
and of course a confirmation of a very strong masculine energy the emperor now the masculine energy does not mean like gender or sexuality this can also just mean that this person is living in this you know false masculinity energy where they feel like they own everything or they have to take control of her things okay so this can just indicate like your person may have a lot of control issues so whenever they see that you are doing something in your own life they ghost you basically every all of these messages that i just mentioned is be, it's literally the reason why they ghosted you it's because they're they're just dealing with a lot of this type of attitude and they don't like it when you are happy or doing your own thing without them which is like really selfish seriously okay so yeah that's what i'm picking up okay palm number three that's what i see let me know how this resonates and if anything happens if anything comes up just let me know in the comments and also again please 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 stay safe okay for sure stay safe ask for help if you need to and if you would like to keep some more updates about my work please do follow my instagram as well at amorinet and also my other youtube channel okay i will definitely be seeing you again soon bye